hello everyone. My name is Aida Sheshbuluki. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Data Systems Group of University of Waterloo. Uh, and I am presenting a paper co-authored by uh, Professor Tamarosu. This paper was published at the uh, um, ACM Transactions on the web. And the slides that I am currently presenting are available at the link encoded in this uh, code uh, on Google. Uh, the paper has uh, eight uh, sections. And uh, today I'm uh, focusing on uh, two main sections that are about uh, data mining over the streaming graphs and uh, explaining the patterns that we find uh, by introducing a graph model. I will briefly mention the rest of the sections. Um, so we uh, study uh, the um, bipartite graphs of uh, user item streams. And the reason is that um, bipartite uh, graphs have prevalent applications and uh, high representational capacity. However, uh, less is known about uh, at least at the time that we did this study um, about the growth and uh, generative patterns of this type of uh, interconnected data sets. And uh, there are some important aspects that are not, that were not visited. Uh, for example, the multipartite or non-stationary distribution of the data, the emergence of the building blocks, and the streaming uh, paradigms. So we define the uh, uh, we define the streaming graph as an unbounded uh, sequence of data records, streaming graph data records, which are um, uh, so each of these data records is an edge, a weighted edge, uh, with a timestamp that is uh, generated by the gen that is assigned by the generative source. And uh, we study the um, user item streams, uh, and uh, we focus on uh, butterfly structures or subgraphs in this uh, streams because uh, these bu butterflies, which are the smallest form of cycles in bipartite graph, are uh, uh, um, crucial for understanding the function and the uh, structure of the graphs. And in a previous uh, study, we found that these butterflies are the temporal motifs, building blocks of the uh, bi uh, bipartite uh, graphs. Uh, Especially, uh, specifically uh, user item streams and uh, their number, the count of these butterflies can be quantified by a, um, uh, by a um, power law function. And uh, we also learned that hops, which are the nodes that have uh, a degree ha uh, uh, in our definition, uh, the, the nodes that are uh, that have a degree higher than the average of unique degrees uh, seen in the stream are the main contributor for uh, for the emergence of butterflies in a bursty fashion. Uh, so we would expect that uh, in a random graph that is created by a scale-free random um, uh, graph model, uh, which uses preferential attachment of uh, uh, um, new uh, vertices with respect to de their degrees. Um, we would ex expect that then because of the increasing degree of the hub nodes in these uh, graphs, uh, we would expect to uh, to see this uh, butterfly identification. However, this is not the case. Uh, so uh, there are other factors beside the degree and the structure of the, uh, the graph that impacts its uh, densification of the butterflies. And that is why we ask, uh, how do butterflies emerge over the time? And uh, what is their uh, generative mechanism? Our main idea uh, to answer this question is uh, to study the mixing patterns of butterfly vertices uh, with respect to their weighted degree that we call it uh, the strength of the vertices or not. And uh, the best of data records, which are all of the uh, edges that arrive at the same time point and have the same uh, um, uh, time stamp. 
uh, we uh, we study seven real world uh, data streams, uh, which uh, display this uh, dense butterfly densification according to our previous study, and uh, uh, because uh, our study is based on the listing of butterflies, and this is uh, computationally expensive, um, we just consider a prefix of these uh, streams, which have roughly the same amount of uh, butterflies uh, at the end of the stream. Um, that is uh, 6.5 million butterflies. Expect uh, the first uh, one in this uh, in this table that has a uh, uh, um, like uh, 10 times lower than butterflies. And, and in that case, we consider the entire uh, uh, stream. We uh, divide the the timeline of birth arrival in these uh, streams in 20 uh, points, and uh, at each point, um, uh, we, uh, we these points are actually having uh, uh, equal distance with respect to the number of bears that they have, and uh, at each point uh, we uh, analyze the graph snapshot uh, and, uh, based on the uh, data records that have arrived until that point and uh, see how is the uh, mixing of uh, nodes in the butterfly uh, subgraphs in that uh, graph snapshot. We specifically focus on the uh, strength assortivity of these butterfly nodes, which is the tendency of these uh, uh, nodes to connect to each other based on the similarity of uh, their uh, strength. Um, for the metrics to uh, study these uh, assertivity patterns, uh, we initially performed some um, analysis of a real world graphs using exi existing uh, metrics uh, uh, for uh, for like uh, assertivity analysis that, or homophily analysis, and we found them not applicable uh, for our case. That is for using uh, butterflies, uh, uh, for uh, analyzing butterflies uh, in bipartite streaming graph. Uh, there is uh, more uh, information and detail about how do we reach such uh, conclusion in the paper. Uh, I don't uh, um, explain this further. Please refer to the paper for that part. Um, so um, we, to address this problem, we uh, studied three distribution, the distribution of the strength of vertices for both type of the vertices and also the, uh, the distribution of the uh, strength differences for butterfly edges. And uh, we did this uh, uh, for these, as I said, um, streams that have uh, this uh, butterfly densification pattern. So we uh, studied the uh, butterfly cons uh, versus the number of edges in the stream as well. For the distribution, the way we, we studied uh, this distribution was that uh, we tracked the uh, evolution of the mean coefficient of variation and the excess uh, characteristics of the uh, streams. And we also uh, use the a quantification of uh, and the, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, this uh, distribution of the different values. Um, we uh, uh, we divided this stream into four uh, regions, and at each region uh, we uh, found, uh, we calculated the total uh, number of, uh, probability, the total uh, um, uh, value of uh, the data points, which uh, gives us the probability of value falling in each region. Region. Therefore, it gives us uh, four uh, values or a vector of size four uh, to summarize this uh, probability distribution. And then we uh, introduce the 
metric called strength assertivity localization factor, which is based on the first element, and that is the, uh, uh, corresponding to this region behind the mean of the distribution, and subtracting by uh, 0.5. And when it is the positive value, it means that the nodes of the butterflies, which are connected, have similar uh, strength or uh, weighted degrees. When it is uh, negative, it means uh, there is a disassortativity, and zero value means uh, random mixing. So uh, we applied these metrics on the real world uh, uh, streaming graphs. Uh, and we've, uh, we observed that uh, uh, as the stream grows and the number of butterflies increases with a superlinear fashion with respect to the number of edges, uh, the distribution of the strength values gets more uh, 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 skewed with the increasing of the skewness of the right uh, skewed uh, distribution and uh, um, therefore, we expected to see some sort of this as uh, this assertivity because of uh, this uh, uh, strength and diversification, uh, we, because we we expect to see uh, uh, this uh, low uh, strength uh, new vertices connect to the um, uh, high strength vertices, uh, but. Uh, 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 what we uh, observed was different, and that was that uh, we observed a, a steady uh, assortative pattern of the uh, streams because of this uh, fixed uh, shape of the uh, distribution of the strength value over the time. And uh, as I said, uh, we, we observed all of these patterns, these three uh, concurrent patterns in all of the streams with all with different uh, uh, scales, and uh, this uh, um, steady strength assertivity was uh, observed in uh, uh, like uh, the sequence of this graph snapshot. That is why we call it the uh, scale invariant strength assertivity of uh, streaming butterflies. And uh, to explain uh, how and why these uh, three patterns, uh, or the, uh, the phenomenon that we call it the scale invariant, the strength assertivity of but, uh, streaming butterflies happen, we introduced a set of micro mechanisms or local rules uh, in the body of a, a graph algorithm uh, that is called a scope uh, to uh, to uh, reproduce uh, to uh, reproduce this uh, uh, growth patterns in the streaming graphs. The algorithm takes in an initial graph, which can be like uh, some uh, edges from a real world data set, and uh, uses four parameters uh, to expand this, uh, uh, this uh, graph uh, with, uh, with some realistic uh, um, uh, mechanisms. <laughs> And actually, this is the output, uh, which are uh, the, um, the uh, streaming graph records. Um, it can be uh, like the algorithm can be set to generate the log of this. So you, you can, uh, in case you want to use it as a benchmark, uh, you, you can, uh, for example, uh, include the operation for each uh, data record or just uh, um, have the for uh, uh, added edges uh, regardless of the removed edges because uh, the uh, algorithm has some uh, creates uh, duplicate and also uh, probabilistic and also a removal of edges uh, while it generates the data records. To explain how it works, the, uh, at first it uh, does some uh, initialization based on the um, edges and the time stamps of the uh, input graph and then uh, iteratively it adds uh, some uh, um, um, batch of isolated uh, new uh, edges to the uh, uh, graph 
and uh, for each of these isolated edges, uh, it selects either of these three uh, um, operations. Uh, it can be a removal of the, the edge among two new vertices, two jaws at the new vertices, or uh, it can be to do nothing, to introduce a gap of inactivity and create some balanced sized bears uh, in the history. And also, uh, it, uh, the operation can be adding uh, a burst of edges to connect the new, uh, that uh, new edge to the rest of the graph uh, with, uh, with a burst of uh, new uh, edges. And uh, it uses um, the same uh, scale as the uh, initial graph for the weights and uh, does some uh, realistic uh, uh, assignment of the time stamp uh, for the data records. And then uh, some of the vertices are removed from the graph. Uh, from the, uh, and there is an actually a, a computational graph which is controlled by a sliding window. Uh, and that uh, sliding window moves forward after uh, the uh, operations are done for the, uh, the, the new edge. And uh, to uh, to evaluate the performance of this uh, algorithm, we did uh, some experiments uh, to see whether and how well the uh, synthetic uh, streams that are generated by our, our algorithm uh, can preserve the three uh, patterns concurrently. And uh, we observed that uh, it can uh, compared to the baselines, it can uh, preserve all of the patterns at the same time. And uh, we also uh, did some stress testing or uh, sensitivity analysis uh, to see how, uh, how is the effect of the uh, parameters in different uh, and diverse configuration of the, these four uh, um, par uh, uh, parameters uh, on the uh, um, scale, uh, on the our metric uh, for the string assertivity uh, uh, localization factor, or the generation time, and also the uh, birth sizes. And we <laughs> observed that uh, uh, the um, pro con this parameter, which controls the probability of the new connection, uh, uh, has uh, the most sensitivity to the uh, uh, generation time of the data records and the size of the uh, um, the bears, as well as the uh, random this one, which is the, the random and dynamic size of the uh, uh, random value that uh, algorithm uses to generate the new uh, uh, vertices. And uh, um, in another uh, point of view, we can say that the uh, algorithm is robust to different, uh, uh, sorry? Uh, uh, the algorithm is robust to the uh, different uh, initial conditions and parameter uh, setups. So to conclude, uh, we did some data mining over the bipartite streaming graphs of uh, web log user item data, and uh, we introduced a metric for uh, mixing patterns of vertices can be used uh, for uh, unipartite graphs or other type of graphs as well, or for other type of uh, um, uh, graph algorithms. And uh, we also found a new phenomenon, and um, we introduced a streaming growth algorithm. Thank you for your attention, and happy to take your questions.